Hello again, everyone. Um, if you didn't hear that, I said hello again, everyone. This is Gilmer, and this is episode 14 of War in the West. We are playing as the Allies, and it's really pretty early still. It is September 11th, 1943, turn 11, although I haven't taken Sir, uh, Sicily yet. And that's an issue. That's a problem. And that doesn't work because, oh, wait a minute, uh, to hell with that, so anyway, uh, that doesn't show me the actual battle, so I'm going to turn, wait, wait a minute, nope, that doesn't either, so I'm going to turn that off, and uh, the first time I went at these guys, I was unable to to um, take Messina, but we did reduce the fort. We reduced the fort very significantly. I'm hoping, hoping. Well, how do I turn this off? I guess I don't. Um, unless I do this, yeah, okay. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that on the next turn I will be able to take Messina and I don't really know exactly what's next. I think I just did my air campaign, to be honest with you, but I'm not positive. But I know that... Hold on a second. Oh. It's my, it's my turn. It's my land turn. That's the deal. So... I am going to do my little trick again. See if this works. I'm going to put three up here. And I'm going to put them in this, this, and this hex. And then we will see what we will see. Okay. I wonder if I have to select them. I do have to select them, don't I? It doesn't give me an indicator really over here, but let's see if this works. Hmm. We reduced them by a crap load. We're trying this one again, folks. Let's wait a minute. Let's look at that battle first. So, naval support group. I wish this. It doesn't. Is there a way to? It keeps jumping over it. That's another a naval. It might only use two. I'm not sure. It looks like it just used two. Um, I don't see anybody in reserve getting in there. We reduced their fort to zero again. So, let's try it one more time. Fourth time is the charm, hopefully. We had it. Sheesh. Hmm. I, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it another time. And I really can't leave these here because if I do, they'll get chewed up. They'll get chewed up very badly. I, I, um... As you can see, it, it worked a whole hell of a lot better. Um, I'm not sure. What size is this port? Uh, port. Uh, 
population too. I thought there's supposed to be a port size port. Well, anyway, I know I know the Catania is a, is big. I'm almost well. I'm almost positive it's big. Let's see. Population. Oh, so it has a port. The other ones didn't say it had a port. But it says its damage is seven. I've got it on priority repairs too. Um, manpower. Why would I repair their manpower? I don't think that I would. So, what in the hell am I going to do? Should I move these guys out? Should I move them out? Oh, I, I can't. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, well. I can't, I can't move them out. If I had movement points, I could move them out and move the second line in and then try to attack, but I'm... Uh, I'm in a little bit of trouble here. I, I think um, I don't think I'm in good a good shape here. So this turn is done. They're still on refit. I wonder if I need to put them on ready to make them attack better. But this. This turn is done anyway. They, I, I can't do it again. That next time I'll turn this, these on a ready. And these, uh, shit. That's why they, damn it. That's why they didn't help. They weren't, they were in refit mode. They weren't, that's what not paying attention does to you. So I, I screwed that turn up. I should have put these on reserve. So that's one thing that I messed up on. So uh, we get another turn of this. So, anyway, that's uh, that's disappointing. But that that's my fault. That's not anybody else's fault, but my fault. I should have should have remembered that. And um, yeah, that's what happens when you're not paying attention, folks. You got to pay attention. If I was a general, I'd probably be canned right now. Of course, they would have known automatically to go into reserve, but still. Oh, damage zero. Damage zero. Did these? No, these all had damage of zero, didn't they? That's right. They had already repaired themselves. Uh, but, but, but points 34. So they're getting there. Uh, so what's in this turn? Make sure you end the turn by pressing that or F12. Don't be pressing any of these other buttons if you want to end the turn. So that was my fault. I, did, I, I should have known that I needed to look at every single thing and figure out what I was doing because that, that was a mistake. And um, I never said I'd be perfect, though. I'm kicking myself right now, though. I am kicking myself for screwing that one up because I think I would have gotten I think I would have won that battle at least the second one it's alright it's alright we'll get him this next turn I'm trying to think of my what my strategy is going to be on Sardinia. And then uh, Corsica because um I could leapfrog I could go from Sicily here from Sicily to
to Corsica, and then from Sardinia straight to Italy, and then from Corsica to Italy in a second a second front. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, that's feasible at this point, but it's something that I'm going to at least think about. I uh, hear the losses. I've had 11,000 men killed. They've had. No, they've had 11,000 men killed. I've had 14,000 killed. But we've captured 24,000. And that's because we're taking land from them, I think. Okay, here is the, um, the air screen. So what do I want to... Uh, tactical Air Mediterranean. I'm going to put ferry at high. Railway at high. Unit at high. Ground superiority up high. I mean ground support. And let's see if that works. That helps. But I think I think once I put those uh those units on reserve and, and I get a little help from them, I'll be okay. Hopefully. Everybody said Messina's hard to take, but they said if you use those naval headquarters to amphibious headquarters that it was easier a lot easier I've not necessarily found that to be easier this is the first time I've tried it though this is the first time I've gotten this far but I don't know how much easier it is or has been hopefully a lot seems pretty hard already I don't remember what it was historically if the Germans bugged out when they saw Patton and Montgomery coming up but it doesn't seem like Messina was that much of a fight for them Uh, I always look at this. Well, that's not good. I don't like that. For some reason, it was almost even there, but now it's Axis has gone far down and we've gone far up. I wonder if it's because I changed that to ferry and ground support. That probably has something to do with it. Um, total losses is what I want. There we go. No. Total losses. Air losses. Air losses. Uh, 3685, 3328, still holding at basically a one for one trade off, which is good for me. Okay. So we're back. I want to make sure I get all of these on reserve again, or for the first time, not again, because I didn't do it the first time. And then, they seem to be about the same strength as they were last turn when I first started attacking. Hmm. Shipping contested. It's it shows axis. Um bup, 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 bup. so they've got a defense of twenty one and and uh forty seven really. Okay. Let's see. Wait, let's see what we will be able to do with these. So let's just make sure all reserve, all reserve, and let's might help if I click 
the land. Give it to me. Boom! Ha 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 ha. Yes, sir. That did it. I'm, it probably would have happened last turn. That was good. Look at all these units surrendering. What were the odds? It does it doesn't say, does it? Where's it where's it? Uh oh. I guess the, the the left side is me and the right side is them. Because let's go back to that. Let's look at that again. I guess 3.2 to 1 is uh, the 3.2 is me. Even though I'm on this listed on this side, I think the 3.2 is me. And I know that I said it differently on a different turn. I thought that the left was not me, that it was always the Germans. But 3.2 to 1 is pretty good odds. As you can see, our adjusted combat value, I believe, is this number 546 to their adjusted combat value of 166. If you show details, um, I don't know. Damaged, damaged. We uh, had somebody in reserve attacking. There was really only one, I guess. But um, yeah, we had three amphibious HQs uh, helping us. Nice. Nice indeed. Uh, how many Panzers did they lose? Damage 16. Disrupted 14. So the Panzer 4H is... is um, I think they do have the Tiger tanks. And if anybody, you know, is familiar with the, uh, the Germans in World War II... The Panzer IV H was their mainstay for the longest time until they started running up against the uh, Russian T-34s and they realized that this Panzer IV H was not going to be able to handle the T-34 um, because the T-34 had a 76 millimeter gun and had much better armor and sloped armor and the Panzer IV H had a 75 millimeter gun that wasn't as good as the T-34 gun. And so they were losing a lot of these guys. So that's part of the reason why they developed the uh, Tiger tank. But I don't see any Tiger tanks in here. The Tiger tank, I think the, the designation for the Panther tank and then the Tiger tank, the Panther was a Panzer V, was their you know, Roman numeral designation and the and the tiger tank is was a panzer vi or six so it's just after the panzer four that those two were developed and part of it was because of t-34s but i don't see any tigers in this but i don't think there were very many tigers in the italian theater anyway um i know that there were some ss forces down here but i don't know that they had that many tigers I don't know that much about the Italian theater to be honest and as somebody once said you shouldn't say anything if you don't know so I am going to say I don't know I just don't it's my opinion I think it I think there weren't very many tigers in the Italian theater because I've never seen anything on it and you know you see stuff on the Italian theater so anyway I'm happy we won. Very much happy we won. We took Messina. And now is Messina a port? Yes, it is. Did I want to move that infantry division from the British Corps? maybe because I'm going to move him there I'm going to move 
him there. And let's see what kind of port. They have a port of three, I think, is what that is. So I'm going to put him there. So we have taken Sicily. Yes, sir. I wonder if uh, I wonder if there's a way to look at That's where's it where's the uh, HQ? Let's take a look at the HQ. Who is it? Who is its commander? Uh, uh, Oliver W. Lease. Victories, defeats. So it does tell you. It does tell you just like in War in the East how many victories they have, how many defeats they have. Um, so that's good. And and they can get uh, promoted based on victories, and they can get demoted based on losses. And this is the Omar Bradley. So he he's, it says here, 8 and 5. And most of those defeats, I think, came from fight attacking Messina to be honest so anyway we have to stack some uh, units with these amphibious units so that's a six And then that is a five, and he can't get there. Can I use rail? No, I cannot. So he is a. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Everything works out. And I think that's, I think this is the strongest if I can get him, I can. So, we are now setting up. Where are we going to go? Where do you guys think we should go? Everybody says that Corsica is more, is much better than Sardinia because from Corsica you can attack straight across. And hit this area right around Rome and you'd have the airfields very much so covering your troops as they go ashore so that is a th possibility that I need to set these amphibious HQs to Corsica I'm trying to think and then eventually I can set up Dependent. I mean, this is mostly Italian units, and I, I'm not trying to disparage disparage Italians at all. But their troops in World War II were not considered elite by any stretch of the imagination. These are Germans, and they are going to be tough. But these rest the the yellow ones are Italians. I don't think they're going to put up too much of a fight. And so I need to take Sardinia as quickly as possible, and then I guess I can set up for Corsica. Now, I screwed up on Sardinia by trying to uh, target ports, and that's a big no-no. You really don't want to do that. So, which where do I want to do this? Right before the... Uh, Right before the invasion, I have to make sure I have control of the seas. The seas around everywhere. And um, see, as you can see, I'm going to leave that there so the pop-up will hopefully stay up on the video for a very long time so that you can see it. It says Air Interdiction Axis 7 Western Allies 28. So that would be basic. The Western Allies pretty much control that or control it better than the Axis. So that's good. That's good for me. And I think those numbers can go up to 100 on either side. 
so I want to make sure that I want to make sure that the Western Allies number is a lot higher than the Axis number on air to interdiction in the C C lanes because I don't want my amphibious units getting eaten up by their air. So, having said all that, let us. What the hell are you doing back there? Turn to HQ. Let us target. So he is the western or the the northernmost. Oh sh shit! He can't get that far, can he? Why does he only have 125? Oh. I'm setting a target. Yes. Let's do that. That's concerning me because I don't want him to move. Or am I supposed to? No. Target. Set new. Target. Set new amphibious target. What well, I'm going to do something here, and it's not to be gamey. I just I want to make sure that I don't screw this up. I'm going to do a save because I'm not trying to uh, I'm not trying to move up there. And if it moves up there, that's 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 not something I should have to accept. Okay, so that does work. It it's he's got a movement points of 80, 80, 184. These both all of these should have. And then the last one. These guys might not be in range, to be quite honest. Target. Yes. I might have not needed to click target each single time. But, um... This says I can't even reach. That's not a port. That's just a, an airfield. So I guess that's cool. So, there we go. And that might take two turns from that that position, to be honest. I don't know how that works, but it might take two turns. Look at their routed units. That was their two units keeping hold of uh, Messina. Ha ha ha, you suckers. They left you there to fucking get hammered. And hammered you got. Although you held it longer than you should have. Which was my fault. Prep points 29. Prep points. Where's the prep points, pal? Oh, that's... Uh, what the hell? Prep points 20. Um, something isn't... What the hell? Where's my other amphibious? It wasn't there. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. It's way over here. That's right. 40. 20. That guy's sucking on a... Sucking on the hind titty of a cow, as my one of my history teachers used to say. I don't know where he got that saying from. It just means that he's he's lagging he's not doing good at all he's getting he's getting the least amount of nourishment I guess he's sucking wind come on pick it up pal 20 20 points 
Oh, well. So, land turn is over. The land turn is over. And uh, I'm sitting at 30 minutes, so I think I will call this episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, and I definitely will be back. It's starting to get interesting for me. Well, it's been interesting the whole time, but it's once I took Messina with, you know, the the units that I had, that made it that made it fun. That was really fun. So uh, thanks a lot. I will see you next time.